Good morning and welcome. So, first of all, my cat is here today. She's like, she's liking it to be here. She, she likes it to be here. Yeah. And today we're going to be a little bit more in downward facing dog and doing a lot of things there. <sighs> Reconnecting today with all the possibilities that we have and with awareness. So please come to a sit either on a chair or on a pillow. Maybe you lift yourself up on some books, so you can sit also on some books, if that's what you have, it's also good. And then just place the hands where they feel comfortable. And start to breathe deeper, first into your belly, and then into your breast. Into your belly and then into your breast. Make it even deeper, and every time you breathe in, we get longer through through our spine. Longer, 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 and breathe out. You will feel drawn up by a rope that is attached on your head. To even get more long, even get longer. Breathing in and breathing out, releasing the hands by your sides. And when you breathe in, bring the hands up. And when you breathe out, bring the hands down in your own rhythm. Make them the deepest breaths that you take in for this day. And then bend one side, place one hand on the floor and extend the other hand into the sky, getting long through the side body while maintaining also um, straight body on, on the back, on the other side. So you're getting long on one side and maintaining, not not like knicking knicking in, like uh, bending the side. You want to still be somewhat long on the other side. <sighs> Breathing in deeply here and changing the sides. <sighs> getting long on one side, really long, <sighs> and changing the side. I'm going. Just keep on going like this. Connect it with your own breath. Keep on going. I'm letting the cat out. Yes. That's good. Good. And then from here come to the middle pose again. Take one more deep breath in, as deep as you can. Mm -hmm. 
feel your awareness of this moment and come into all fours. And from all fours, we're going to round or arc from the lower spine slowly up and again slowly down. You check your alignment first so that the shoulders are over wrists and hips are over the knees. And then start breathing in, rounding from the lower back up and from the top of the head down. Good job everybody! And shift yourself back into a child's pose, so knees by your sides, big toes together and shift yourself back, hips over heels here. Cat hair. So I've got cat hair on my mat, what do you have on your mat if you have one? <laughs> Releasing that completely on the floor. Breathing in deeply. Make this moment your own moment here. Shift yourself up again. And find a good place one more time. And we want to round, round and arc again. But this time we are going to just let down one elbow, so we place one elbow on the, on the floor and grab around, grab around the other hand, like this. And then we want to check our alignment that our shoulders are still over our wrists or over the elbow and then round from the lower our arc up. Breathing in and round from the top of the head down. And then slowly change the sides, keep time here, grab, place one elbow on the floor and grab the hand of the other and start rounding again. Here is important, we want to have a straight, straight arm. So the hand that is placed is straight. Going up the shoulders really straight and maybe find some more tension that you can release in your back and going slow here as well and releasing this completely we're sitting more time back into child's pose releasing everything breathing in deeply 
when you breathe in maybe stretch your hands even more forward and when you breathe in breathe into the stretch if you have a stretch here the head here one more time deep breath in and then you release come back up shift yourself up into downward facing down this means hips into the sky hips into the sky good job everybody breathing in deeply get longer from the heart to your fingers and from the heart to the hips, breathe in, and from here we want to bring one leg a little bit to the middle and extend the other leg without opening the hips, so opening the hips would be like this, like a uh, turning turning the hips but we want to uh, have the hips still straight here breathing in here and bring the knee forward to your breast and then again back bringing it forward to the right elbow and bring it back breathe deep breath in here and bringing it to the left elbow breathing in here and bringing it down coming back into the downward facing dog taking here some breaths shifting the right leg into the middle and extending the left leg and bringing it to the to the breast area extending again breathing in and forward to the to the left elbow extending again and to the right elbow And back again, breathing in. And placing it on the floor here. Coming a little bit more into your knees. Place the knees like one, two centimeters off the floor. And breathe in deeply. Good, shift yourself back up. And extend the right leg again. Bringing it to the breast when you breathe out and stepping forward. From here we release the left leg down on the floor. Good job. And find a stable pose here. Bring the hands together here in front of your heart. And bend to one side. Feel a stretch here. When you breathe in, get longer. And when you breathe out, go a little bit deeper. And then release this. Place the left leg, left hand on the floor and extend the right hand into the air. Always listen a little bit to your own body. How does it feel? And then lift the left leg again. Step back and shift to downward facing dog. From here we extend the left leg. Breathe in deeply and bring the front knee forward and place it down. Release the right knee. 
release the toes of the right foot breathe in deeply extend the hands and place the elbow on the left knee get longer and find a stretch here as well when you breathe in get longer to the top of the head and when you breathe out find a little bit more stretch a twist and release here as well place the right hand on the floor extend the left to the sky try to put both shoulders onto the back just a little and release again step back here in downward facing dog again take some breaths here find more length from the heart to the fingers when you breathe in and then when you breathe in next from the heart to the hips get longer 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 next breath you also want to push your heels down to the floor and bring the left leg to the middle extend the right leg again and bring the right leg completely forward this time we won't release the um, back leg so the left leg and we stand slowly up when you find a good pose Closer, closer. Check that your front knee is over the heels and extend the hands. When you breathe in, get longer. When you breathe out, take a more space. And then bring the hands toward your heart again and bend to one side. Really getting straight with the with the back leg, trying to have one line from the back leg up to your head. Breathing in, getting longer, breathing out, like more space. Last time, breathing in and releasing, stepping the right leg back again and come into downward facing dog again, find more length from the heart to the fingers, from the heart to the hips and come a little bit further down with the heels to the floor. Then bring the right leg into the middle and take your left leg up and come in. place it forward right next to the left hand. Find a good stance and shift yourself up. Extending the, straightening the back leg here, extending the arms into the sky. longer when you breathe in when you breathe out finding up finding more space taking up more space now come into your awareness how does this feel bring the hands towards each other and turn to one side I'll turn around quickly so, turn to the side right elbow over the left knee when you breathe in get longer from the toes up to the head when you breathe out take up more space maybe twist a little bit more breathing in 
And one last time, breathing in deeply, as deeply as you can. And letting go. Turning back, placing both hands on the floor and shifting back to the downward facing dog. Again, check in from the heart, get longer to the fingers. From the heart, get longer to the hips. And next, check your heels. Maybe draw them a little bit down if you like. You can also bend the knees if this feels better to you. Then put the knees on the floor. Shift yourself back into child's pose. Knees a little bit to the side. Big toes together and come into Child's pose, releasing the head. Good job, everybody. Doing great. Breathing in deeply here, relaxing for a moment. Breathe into the stretch. Extend the hands a little bit more. And then come back up into, uh, into downward facing dog. And from here we're going to breathe in deeply. Look forward to the fingers and walk forward slowly. Meep, meep. Release the body. Maybe come a little bit more into your knees or straighten the, the legs a little bit more as you like. Find what feels good to you now. Maybe you're just going like a little bit in between, that's also okay. Grab onto your elbows and shift side to side here. And from here, we're going to do something a little bit different today. This is a little bit of a handstand preparation, but we are using it for training now. So place your hands really on the floor. Really, really, really good. So the, the mounts here of the fingers are also pressing into the floor. That is what is really important. And then Shift all the way to the hands, maybe straighten the feet a little, and jump a little bit back. Shift to the hands, and jump a little bit back. Breathing in deeply, all the, all the way to the hands, and shift a little bit back. Oh, exactly. Good job everybody, this is really hard. Especially if you do it the first time. Just think about shifting the, the weight into the hands, just lifting the, the legs a little, little bit, it's not jumping. So then when we are at the back, we're going back to the front, placing the hands a little bit forward and just lifting the legs a little bit. time. Uh, good job everybody and keep lean, keep the forward bend here, relax the arms. Bring the arms slowly to the hips, elbows pointing upward, come more into your knee and stand up straight. Extend the hands into the air. Bring the hands together in front of your heart. Close your eyes and breathe in deeply. 
How does your body feel today? And then let's come to the front of the mat and we're doing one on sun salutation and then we keep on going to some more thing else. So breathe in deeply, extend the hands into the sky, bend forward, breathe out, breathe in deeply, raise halfway, straight back here, breathe out, place the hands on the floor, right leg, left leg back, shifting back to downward facing dog, breathing in. Breathing out, coming forward and 90 degrees down with the elbows. You can also place the knees on the floor. Releasing the hips down when you're down, 90 degrees. Placing the feet on the floor, knees into the floor. So feet also pressing into the floor. Then think forward and up. Maybe you just lift a little bit. Uh, release, shifting back into into downward facing dog. How does it feel here? Let's stay here for a moment. Uh, and completely go into awareness how this feels now compared with the start of the lesson. And just keep two more breaths here. Breathing in, looking forward to your fingers and stepping or jumping forward. Your job releasing, releasing, bending forward here. Bring the hands to the hips, elbows pointing upward, come on to your knees and standing up straight. Breathing in deeply, extend your hands, bringing them in front of your heart. Check in one more time with your body. Awesome job, everybody. And from here, you need to come down, sit down in your own time, find your own way, go there, come onto your back. And from here we're going to do one last thing, we're going to do a boat. And we want to, uh, we want to sit up a little bit here and then first of all we can hold on the, under the knees, on the thighs. We want to have a straight, straight back here also if possible straight as possible and then when we find a balance here balance here then we can let go of the let go of the leg and we just rest here and balance a little bit you can go deeper and keep on breathing here again come back to your back lie on your back and straighten one leg grab onto the other leg and draw it a little bit towards you draw the toes towards you of buff's le buff leg <laughs> buff um, draw buff uh, toes towards you so the buff on the right <laughs> the toes on the right leg and the toes on the left leg draw toward you. Exactly, now I get it. Awesome job. And we want to give a little bit of pull on the thigh here. So we feel a little stretch. Our our um, shoulders rest onto the floor, 
So the shoulders are not up here yet. It's also some different. And then pull it in, give it a hug, give, give the knee a hug, and release. Let's do the other side. Extend the leg. Draw in a bit. Draw the toes in of both legs. Breathe into the stretch, draw in maybe a little bit more. And releasing also this leg. And slowly come to wall and extend the feet up in the wall. We're doing an inversion here for about a minute. So legs are up at the wall. We want to just let all the blood flow down into the body. If you go want to go to variant two, bring the, the elbows next to your body. You don't need to go to variant two. This is just an option. If this feels good to you, this is all, also great. And then push into elbows, lift the hips, maybe shift the elbows a little bit more behind the back, extend the feet and get into this more intense pose. You don't want to look here left and right with the head, you just want to look upward. Even if you go to the next pose, you really don't want to look uh, left and right, but we don't go there next pose would be uh, like going away from the wall and and having every all the weight over the over the um, head and the shoulders or more weight on the head and the shoulders and with this variation we are having more weight or less weight over the head because our our uh, legs are also uh, are on the wall. <laughs> Today is different and difficult. Oh. And just let all the blood flow down from the toes, from the legs into your upper body. Let's go one more minute here. <laughs> so here if you look left or right it's not that um, harsh but if you go up there and have more weight over, over your neck uh, then you really really want to just look up so if you go here you just want to look up otherwise you can really get hurt and that's not what we want Breathe in deeply here, as deep as possible, as deep in as in the beginning of the lesson. Good. And slowly come down. Slowly come down and turn sideways here for a moment. Feel how the blood is flowing back into your leg, legs. Just give it a moment.
And then come into a final relaxation pose in our Shavasana. So in Shavasana we want to lie back on our back. And toes are facing outward, hands are facing into the sky into the sky and we lay back. Just keep keep this pose and just be here. I will sit up and I will get you back out of this pose in some minutes. So keep lying on your back and just be just be Slowly, slowly, start to deepen your breath here. Start to come back to your body and start to move your fingers, your toes. And when you're ready, draw in your knees towards your body and shift yourself to the left or the right side so that you're lying on the side body. And when you're there, release all the muscles into the body uh, <laughs> into ground, feel the gravity holding you, release even the shoulder muscles, check in with your shoulders again, with your legs, with your belly, upper body, with your tongue, release all the muscles, even the ears, and feel carried by the gravity. Shift yourself back up into a final sitting pose. Keeping your eyes closed still. Bring the hands in front of your heart. And... <clears throat> Awesome job for connecting with the awareness, with the consciousness of yourself. Wishing you a wonderful day and take 
maybe take this awareness, this consciousness a little bit more into your day.